and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Averrosen Fury. Going back to this one for our last Allegiance deck, we're heading on over to the Freljord. We got Averrosen Outriders. I'm uh, going to be granting plus three, plus three, and Overwhelm, and we're going to have a whole bunch of big Overwhelm units, and then Battle Fury is going to be our thing that's going to be finishing out a lot of games. We've seen that even though there's tons of Targon in the metagame, not everybody's playing Hush these days. Hush is a card you, you, that's usually like a one-of in different decks because the Hush isn't very good in the Targon Mirrors right now. So less Hush means hopefully more Overwhelm and Battle Fury um, getting it done. Um, I'm playing since, since we've played this this same list a couple of times. One thing that I'm changing is I am we've played three Alpha Wild Claws before, and it's a good card. I'm happy with it, but I want to try one Wolf Rider um, that you know <clears throat> sometimes it's 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 going to usually just be a four three Overwhelm on turn four, which is not great. But the times that we do have the plunder, that if we are able to plunder and play Wolf Rider, that can just be amazing of getting to these things. A turn earlier so it, it has really really high upside and you know the downside is it's just a generic 4-3 overwhelm for four so it's not you know not the worst but not necessarily the best so we just got one in there um over the third wild claw all right but let's get to it let's uh get some overwhelm and get some fast games hopefully get another three two that would be amazing if we can finish it out and have all three twos today in uh in a day where we're playing no targon and um, all Allegiance decks. I think it's our first time playing Zoe Lee Sin today. Yeah, first time for that. Um, Zoe Lee Sin's a deck that plays more Hush than normal, so that's not great for me. Okay, so no attack token on turn four, so we'll have Outriders on four, maybe Wolf Rider on five. No, probably Hearthguard on five, so I'm probably just skipping over this Wolf Rider. So unfortunately how our curve is, um, this would have been better probably as the six mana seven six. Cooling strike. Um... Yeah, I don't think I give them a free gem. A true Leaping into action. Save the homestead. I just have two more, too many more important things to pulling strike than that. Does plunder count whenever we take damage? <laughs> Does that count? Many tribes under one banner will make outland key. Maybe I should just play this other Outriders. I was already just kind of focused on playing this Hearth Guard. So this plays around Pill Cascade, but Nopified, yeah, it does counter that. And I could have. Um, yeah, I guess I did play into Nopify, but. Our will lead the way. I guess that's how it is. I just didn't want them to play, you know, like Lee Sin, right? I'm just really scared of Lee Sin on like turn five Lee Sin. Many tribes, one Freljord. One Freljord. Is 
Still with the Sedgewani. So I don't I don't love just open Battle Fury. I mean, again, this deck has all the Hush and Concussive Palm and all that kind of stuff. I am considering I'm considering just having my 1-1 one, one challenge. The Sparkle Fly. No, I guess I guess we try. Just force their hand to using Hush and Concussive Palm and stuff like that right now. We got a hush out of their hand. As far as Battle Fury is concerned. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. So next turn we have, what, 9, 10, 11, 12 mana, and Ancient Yeti plus Battle Fury is 12 mana. <clears throat> yeah, I think we just play the Ancient Yeti first. Or I save mana for Culling Strike <clears throat> to get rid of a blocker. No, I think it makes more sense to play Ancient Yeti first. This is a time where we want to go best to worst. The dragon binds us. Your lesson begins. Their heartbeats quicken. So three cards in hand. I will not hold back. We know they will not fall back. <clears throat> Let's put them down to four. Yeah, I think I guess I just have to force them to to use hush right now. I guess this thing. Oh no hush! All right, they don't have they didn't have a second hush. So by challenging that thing last turn. We got the hush out of their hand. They didn't have a second. No concussive palm either. The Witcher's Claw triumphs. And that's our deck. We had the Avaros and Outriders make things really big, and then Battle Fury, Avaros and Fury. Back to Twisted Aphelios. I wonder how much overwhelm damage we had that last game with everything. Like after the Battle Fury and everything, we had what five overwhelm attackers. Get rid of the eight drops. <laughs> Eight's a little much. You got an eight drop back. We were peaceful. All right, so not our best mulligan. That's okay. No more hiding. I could play Tavern Keeper, I guess. Yeah, I should be playing Tavern Keeper. They forced us to choose death or the blade. I didn't adjust with drawing the Tavern Keeper. I should have played that. They can still play Aphelios this turn and get Box to Post and Box to Post next turn. This one's on the house. If they use Pill Cascade, 
that's a pale cascade they're not using later. All right, I'll just take that. All right, so we have three cooling strikes and a Darius are the only no Noxus cards. We have four total Noxus cards. The three cooling strikes are gone. We have drawn all three cooling strikes. Good. So I was gonna say, like, if we miss the allegiance, that'll be pretty bad. It's just one, <laughs> one card out of thirty-one. Ooh, that's like the best card to hit too. Warm greetings to your brothers. Eight-eight overwhelm. Outright is hitting hearth guard. Love it. All right, down to nine. <clears throat> That's the dream right there. Winter take you. And manners maketh. Now oh, you're the fangs. We don't need no life steal. has been down. Do Okay. No. no challenge. If you're gonna just block there, why don't you just challenge that thing? Yeah, I was gonna say they'd probably block here and then have hush. Especially drawing this Battle Fury makes an open attack pretty good. They're gonna have to have like double hush. Usually people only play like one hush. All right, that'll do. Put him to uh, zero. Win streak. All right, their win streak's done, and we are two and zero. Oh. Ooh, Anivia. Our things may be too big for Anivia. Possible, but they have a lot of Nexus healing. Um, I don't like Ice Veil Archer. Because that thing, you know, like, like, Omen Hawk's just fine, you know, like, yes, it gets Vile Feasted, but I don't want my Ice Veil Archer getting Vile Feasted. Cooling Strike can, like, take down Anivia, like, a lot later, but I don't think that's necessarily something we keep and necessarily try to do. Let's get some other mulligans. Yeah... Th I could I could see this going either way. I don't necessarily think that we're automatically favored because they also have you know like ruination. Wait, oh did I just not attack on turn? I don't know why I th I thought I had the attack token on turn three or turn two. Like so I was gonna play this then attack. Huh? How about that? Well I missed one point of damage earlier. I don't know why I thought that I had the attack token turn two. I guess I should have paid closer attention. So we'll see if we get them down to, you know, one or one life is the difference. United, nothing can stop us. Nothing is you would kept calling strike because of gluttony. In Avarosa's name. Bow, 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 bow. 
This is just kind of awkward all the way around. I can't go Hearthguard plus Omenhawk. I can't go Omenhawk plus Yeti plus Archer. Maybe it's just Omenhawk plus Yeti. Not have been a bad calling strike, keep them from drawing two. If I would have still had calling strike, but at least I'm saving mana for Battle Fury. Okay. Gotcha. A chill in the air. All right, and let's go. This is a lethal open attack. They'll have to do something. And I got the Battle Fury. Alright, so they do that. Let's go over... here. With our other thing with Overwhelm. No! Flash for ease! Gross. Gross. Not playing another thing into um, Ruination. No, oh, that's bad news for them. Many tribes under one banner. This land is ours. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, they needed, like, yeah, they needed Ruination here in, into, like, Harsh Winds. Right? Because, like, they go Ruination, then I play three things, and then they need, like, that plus Harsh Winds. Um, but I guess even even then they're dead. They need Ruination plus Harsh Winds plus something else. I think. Ooh. Alright, Mulligan and Battle Fury. And I guess I'm gonna just Mulligan Hearthguard also, but I like Omen Hawk into Trapper. I mean I, I like the Um I like that Hearthguard, Hearthguard there too, but I think we can mulligan that. We'll find other top end cards. That's not difficult. So Kordak, I know you play this deck a lot. And what do you think of you know taking out the what do you think of my call of taking out the Six man, like one, the third copy of the six mana seven six, um, Alpha Wild Claw. Yes, Harvey, I will pet you. You just sit here. Stop scratching stuff. And instead, putting in a, one copy of Wolf Rider. They just have like one Wolf Rider in here to kind of help us ramp if if that happens over the third seven six. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. Wolf Rider isn't. <clears throat> it's you know I'm not playing a bunch of Wolf Riders. It's not it's not like the focus of the deck, but I think it has really high upside, right? Like and so like there are spots where it can do something incredible, and so that's what I was thinking. That, that sounds like a a good one of, especially when our deck is just so focused on. Um, I'm just going to let these trade. I, I'm not going to use Troll Chant. Okay, never mind. They're going to do that. I'm just going to let them have that. When our deck is so focused on six mana cards. such good options. 
are we going to be able to unload our hand fast enough? Finding details is my duty. So I know I, I normally really want to play the Avaros and Outriders, but I like playing the Trapper to get the one mana five fives on top of the deck, right? Like we're going to be drawing so many cards. I want these one mana five fives. Okay, so probably a thermogenic beam or something similar. Hmm. That's pretty good. That gives them that blocker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I will discard a card. Let's see, are they an Ezreal deck? No, Teemo Elise. Yeah, I don't. I don't keep these. I think I play stuff before combat. Yeah, I think so. I think I play stuff before combat. And I'm thinking like Outriders plus Enraged Yeti. United, nothing can stop us. The sun rock got me good. Because yes, they can just play more things to block, but you know this does just kill those things to block. And they're, they have lots of, lots of like removal spells too. So like, I'm sure that they wouldn't mind like using actual spell mana. So I dealt the same amount of damage to them that I would have if I didn't play anything before combat, but also, you know, we killed two things. One of our things died. Killed two extra things. Two extra blockers that would have been there for the next turn. Are they going to be able to stay alive another turn? Because if we don't kill them the next turn, there's a good chance that we do end up dying. Alright, so I got a troll chant here. So that probably means I need to troll chant, ruthless raider, and ancient yeti. The winter's claw strikes! And then open attack with Battle Fury. We'll say, put buff up that thing's health. All right, now we're going to open open attack with Battle Fury with these four big overwhelms, two other big things. Um, this looks like a pretty tough spot for them, right? Shadow Isles removal isn't killing too much of the stuff, right? They can. Well, grass the undying that my three three right now, but we got all this other stuff. Oh, this looks oh, like a difficult spot damage. for them. There they go. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how they're gonna survive right now, but we'll see. I don't have 19 puff caps to draw. I'd have. If I draw like a whole bunch, maybe they have, I was going to say, they could have like three get excited. And if I drew a whole bunch. It's going to have to be pretty good. This Right now they're going to negative 12. Okay. <laughs> We're four and oh. Broke up the three two streak. Our streak of the the four three twos from the, from Tuesday when we had no Targon to all three twos today with no Targon. But we got a four oh. 
Ooh, Zoe Aurelian Soul. It's been a minute since we played against Zoe Aurelian Soul. I don't really like any of these cards, honestly. So usually just mulligan like the, this top end stuff. Hearth card's just fine. Um, Archer, eh. If they play like the, the dragon, like 1-3, I don't really like this archer. The archer's kind of mad. Yuck. Well, not the best hand. But we do have three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, see, Egghead Researcher. That's the card that I didn't really want to just have. Um, just my, my two mana three one against that. Because, of course, the, the Ancient Yeti will cost four next turn, but now we have the Outrider, so we'll play that at four next turn. This one's on the house. Fine with me. Not the egg. Yuck. Nothing can stop us. This is certainly the most champions we've drawn. But not a good sign when we had to mulligan all um, of our cards. So the good news is they were already at 20. So they just healed their nexus for 3, but they were already at 20. So we can't, can't go above 20, so that's um, a good thing for us. Still paint is just accidental art. We got all the expensive cards. What's up, Hearth Garden? She's begun. Oh dear. Oh dear. Many tribes under one banner. Is right. Egghead Researcher is awesome. I don't know. Maybe I'd just play the Sanction Yeti. And we'll kind of see. So that's probably really in soul next turn. I guess I'm more. S hmm. Which one do I need to kill? The Vox or the Eclipse Dragon? I guess it's the Eclipse Dragon. You own what you take. I don't know. It may be the Vox. Today we fight as one. So attack with such one Nah. I don't know. Maybe I. I want to kill this Vox. Pretty awesome. And Velos Fox is real good. Bask in her radiant blessing. So that's not a really in soul, so that's cool. I like not a really in soul. What's the other one? Zoe? Okay, so that's Okay, so it's not Zoe, so that's a really in soul. So I guess I just go to attacks and get hushed, or let's see. So this would mean I'd have out of four mana left with Fury. Our banner will lead the way. Born for conquest. Let's attack. Almost in. Can I paint you? Down to two. Hmm, do I go for it? 
So if I if I go for it and we get hushed, the good news is there'd be no really in soul this turn. So that part would be fine. Bring me chaos. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking the same. I want to put it here. It's the thing that does the least amount of damage anyway. If there is a hush, like these do more damage. And then if this is a hush, this still just turns back into a 5-6. And then I can still play the troll chant and still win that combat. No hush. Just take it. Nine cards over there. Nine cards, ten mana. Sharp Sight Concerted Strike. Does it does it matter which one I I it just does doesn't matter. Which one we choose doesn't matter. Could still have hush mana, hopefully not. Yay, no hush. Wow, so we ended up going 5 and 0 with the Averroes and Fury. They never stood a chance. Go bigger than big. So the problem with starting off with Troll Chant, like I said you you would just start with the Troll Chant and pass is that Troll Chant wasn't lethal, right? Like they were they were going to 4 if I don't if I didn't play the Battle Fury. I think it was 4. It was whatever whatever it was. They were they were not taking lethal and so just playing Troll Chant would have saved Sejuani, yes, but it wouldn't have been a lethal attack. And so like if I go if I go Troll Chant, yes, they save it saves Sejuani, but then they can play Aurelian Soul and then do all sorts of crazy stuff. Then you know, then, then they go to their next next turn and do all sorts of crazy stuff. Then back to my turn, and then I now I have to try to fight through like whatever Celestial stuff and Aurelian Soul and all that kind of stuff. So that's why I wanted to go with the Battle Fury because it forced Hush, and um, so I want to go with that. Whoa, we got a donation for a donation deck for from Targaryen King. Can you make a Leona Yasuo stun deck? Okay, with the new expansions. I can do that. I will make that for you. Um, yeah, and so that's that's the thing. Is there Just like we talked about at the beginning, a lot less hush right, right now. Um, not only does hush now cost three man instead of two, and so people want to play less of it because of that, but then also the most popular deck, your like Twisted Fate of Helios kind of deck, um, that you know a lot of people are playing that. Hush isn't really necessarily that great in that matchup, and so we see a whole lot less Hush, and so maybe this is a, you know, this looked like this was a good spot for this, because we only played against, like, one Hush, like, this, the whole day, like, the, for, for the, for these five games. I think we only, I think we only saw one Hush against the Lee Sin Zoe deck. They had a Hush, um, but they only had one, and they needed two. But Battle Fury just wins games, right? Like, this card just ends games. So many times, like, just... Was it all five games? Did we, like, open attack and then Battle Fury? Like, was that five for five? of <laughs> Open attack, Battle Fury? Um, close to it. If not. Um, yeah, pretty cool deck. Averroes and Outriders was awesome. We multiple times put Outriders on Hearthguard. That's, like, the live in the dream, and we did that the last two games. There we go. Uh, Avarosen Fury. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. If, you've been, if you uh, tried this deck out yourself, let me know how it goes for you. Um, you know, anything else. Like what other kind of decks are you playing in ranked? Uh, you know, I love seeing those comments. Y'all give me that feedback and um, go from there. All right, but thank you so much for watching though. I can't, I can't ever say that enough, y'all on YouTube. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.